Hey guys, my name is Jason from Southern Land. In today's video, I'm gonna show you guys what two pigs did to my yard in one week. <laughs> oh, look at him, he's so happy. Oh my gosh, what have we done? <laughs> Love it. These two pigs are Berkshire pigs and they are six months old. We've had them for two months. And this area right here that we moved them on was fresh grass when we started a week ago. Oh my gosh. All right, it's day two. <laughs> day two. They've been here a full day, all day today. It's the end of the day. And look what they've done. Mud pit. Brothers, you're all muddy. I like it when you're clean. <laughs> all right, so we wanted them to eat this stuff. And it looks like they're kind of eating it, pretty much flattened it down, but they cleared a little bit of area right there, which is nice. But more mud. <laughs> they, they got it going. And then look at, they're sleeping in here. They made themselves some, some more mud. He's got a back scratcher right there. But they are staying pretty contained in here. As long as we have the electric fence hot, they maybe hit it with their nose a couple times and that's it. That they remembered from last time that uh, <laughs> it will shock you. But we'll check back tomorrow and see how they, see how they're doing right here. But you guys are doing a good job. The pigs are like, forget your grass, man. Forget your grass. Grass is overrated. <laughs> Hey brothers, good morning, I'm coming. Excuse me. I've been giving them some feed in the bucket and then also on this area right here where we really want them to get rid of all these vines. Putting them on a hill, I don't know if that's such a good idea because it's slippery. And this is the start of day three with these two pigs in the same spot. Since we put the pigs out, I have yet to find a good routine. When they were in our shelter here, it was, I felt like we had a good routine going. So much rain this week, look at that. That's all filled. These are both filled. This is actually overflowing. And it's just been overall, it's just been really gloomy and rainy, so much rain but the brothers love it. When I'm feeding them, I'm putting them in a clean bowl, but also putting it in an area where I want them to actually eat. And maybe that will encourage them to kind of eat this vine that we want to get rid of. You guys, this is day five with the pigs in this same area. Look what they have done to our yard. Oh my gosh. Our beautiful grass. Brothers, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. So this rain is perfect for them because it makes it a little bit easier for them to till up this. I mean, look at this. 
is mud. That's crazy. In this clay soil that we have, it just makes it more muddy, more clay. And because we're getting all the rain, I filled this water to about right here initially. But then it keeps on filling up. And so it basically crushed this pallet because it's getting so heavy. And so that's why I had to put more T-posts on here so it won't fall over hopefully. But I need to fix that pallet. And yeah. Alright, so this one's empty now which is good because we have bags just sitting out there in the pallets that we need to put in there this one's actually full so next we're gonna dip into this one this is last of that one so far we've gone through two of these so 600 pounds of feed we've gone through Notice that they'll flip up some of this dirt and it'll get on this and then it'll shorten it out. Or if that bucket's on there, it'll shorten this all out and then it won't work as good. So you kind of have to be mindful of that and like always kind of come out here and see. I think the chickens kind of entertain the pigs. I'll notice they'll sit right here and then just kind of watch him. It's kind of funny. Hey brothers. Good morning. Hold on brothers. Excuse me. Excuse me. Alright guys, we're day seven with these two Bacon Brothers. I guess they're not just brothers anymore. They're Bacon Brothers. <laughs> and look what they have done to this bush that we wanted them to take down. So they pretty much ate all the leaves off. There's some on there. And the, a lot of the vines are still there. I mean, I would imagine that this would probably come back to life if we just leave it but they took out basically all the grass, mostly. They ended up being, this was their poop spots, all back here. Pigs are pretty clean. They pick one poop spot and that's, that's where they go, you know? Like they're not like all over the place pooping. It's just one spot. But I think they're pretty much rooted everywhere they needed to or everywhere that, that there's left. All right, so what did you think about this whole thing? <laughs> I, re I was really scared putting the pigs out, but they followed you with the bucket, and I was really scared and afraid that the pigs were going to charge at me through the fence, through electric fence, like just bust through it. But they never did that, and they respect the fence, so that was a good learning lesson for me. And then just having Penelope around the yard playing, and I was just I was worried about that too, but they respect the fence, and... I, I feel a little more, a little safer here now that we've had them here for a week and I, I trust the fence a little bit more. So this is our potato row and you can see all this grass and the only thing we can think of, no, no other rows have the grass, but we used hay or straw to cover up the potatoes and so I think some of the weeds that was in that uh, transferred over to our soil here. So I'm gonna just collect some of this for the pigs. Um, but I'm really impressed with the amount of work that they've done. They've tilled up this area and now I'm excited because instead of mowing this lawn, I get to plant my pumpkin.
pumpkin patch here. So I'm like, let's move them out so I can plant because I'm all about planting right now and getting my, my um, starts in the ground and I've got a bunch of pumpkin starts and I'm gonna turn this into a pumpkin patch and I'm so excited and these guys are hard workers. So the pigs did what we wanted them to do was till up this area and then we're gonna move them in the next couple of days. Uh, but uh, yeah, overall it was uh, a success and uh, we're getting used to them. <laughs> Good job, Bacon Brothers.